had some lucky genes. I mean, I was born at the right time. If I'd been born thousands of years ago, I'd been some animal's lunch because I, <laughs> I can't run very fast or climb trees. So there's so much chance in how we enter the world. It really kind of uh, made me think about how... Now, the, the problem with bringing Warren along is my dad is that he has about 80 chances. But, you know, most of us <laughs> more. Have, <laughs> more. <laughs> but, but he keeps telling me that. Um, but, you know, most people really have about 40 good years. You get through school, you get a little experience, and you think about the goals you want to accomplish and, and uh, the legacy you want to build or whatever it is you want to do. My kids could do nothing. And, and uh, instead, uh, they've... He, all three of them have elected to uh, spend every day, and in Howie's case, enormous effort uh, in helping other people. And I, I, I just think that's terrific. It makes me feel very good. Yeah, I have been inspired, really, actually, by both my, my grandfather and my father. And Howard is. My dad has taken me around the world with him over the last 15 years and showing me in exactly. In some dangerous places. Yeah, I yeah know. We've, we've had a couple of don't bring, don't calls. Bring yeah, we won't talk about that. Think of the places I won't go. <laughs> but, I hear a lot of don't tell dad. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, yeah. yeah. No, but, but uh, you know, Grandpa, uh, Grandpa has really been a, a role model for what one person can accomplish in a lifetime, and the same with dad. How do you envision it working? Well, let's say, okay, we'll start with me dying tomorrow morning. <laughs> and, and, let's and not. The, the, board of, <laughs> yeah. the board of directors, the board of directors would, would meet probably by telephone uh, initially, and, and they know exactly who they would put in the CEO, and that CEO uh, will be terrific, and in many, many respects, much better than I am. And they would make Howie the non executive chairman, but that will take no more time really than being a director takes now. But. There are more good things going on out in the country, in the rest of the country, than in Washington. I'll put it that way. The Forbes 400 this year came in at two trillion twenty billion. That, that's far higher than any year in the past. It's it's twenty, twenty two or twenty three times what it was thirty years ago. So, uh, the wealthy are doing fine, more than fine. Uh, but the inequality has grown, and and uh, uh, that is something I think that. Uh, uh, Congress ought to take very seriously. No, we won't have another shutdown, but that's a very, very minor triumph. I mean, the, the fact that we don't shut down the United States government should not be looked at as a <laughs> crowning achievement of this particular Congress. So, uh, uh, you know, the, um, we have the resources, Betty. I mean, we, we have a country with $50,000 of GDP per capita. That's six times what it was when I was born. If you told my father when he was in the waiting room in 1930, that his son was going to live in a world that had six times as much stuff per person, he would have thought we would all be living in utopia. Even a rich family can make too many promises. <laughs> but we, we should never forget we've got a wonderfully rich family. And the question is, is how we take care of that family. And at the same time, have the family continue to get richer. We, we, we want, the market system is wonderful in terms of producing more and more stuff. And the question is, how do we make sure everybody that, that is part of the family that has this stuff uh, at least has a, a very decent minimum standard of living? I love Vince Gilligan, and, but I couldn't get it out of him. It was, I thought it was a terrific ending. And, uh, you know, Walter White's going on his reward, but maybe I can be a successor. Who knows? <laughs> I, you know what? I've never seen it because I never get to watch TV. <laughs> There's no TVs on the combine. I mean, that's yeah. the real, yeah, yeah. that's the well, challenge. Well, I wanted to, Warren, you're always great on this. I wanted to bring up the main characters of Breaking Bad. Okay. Who do you identify with? People would probably think I'd probably solve a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve cell the phones and everything. <laughs> yeah. All right.